What is going on guys? Thank you so much for tuning in. Now today we have a uh, collection video. I have uh, nine locations now, so I'm on my way to the first stop. <clears throat> now this one's only been here for about a week. Uh, it was my most recent placement, but it's on the way to my next location, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, uh, collect it just to kind of get an idea of what I can expect from this location. All right, so this one here is actually the second location. Uh, the first one, there was a dollar and 25 cents over the course of one week. So not a great location. Uh, it was just a single head machine. That one may or may not get pulled, kind of depending on how it goes. This one ended up having uh, 11.50, and then I gave him a dollar 50 for his cut. And while I was here, I have some seedling gumballs left over still. So I figured I'd go ahead and switch them out with the regular gumballs because this is a game store. So I figured there'd be a lot of kids in here and the seedling gumballs might do better than just the regular ones. Plus, I have to use them at some point anyway. Now, going forward, I probably won't order the seedling ones again because uh, I haven't noticed the ones that do have the seedlings that there's any increase in sales really at all and they are more expensive so probably better off just to stick with the regular gumballs um, go ahead and fill it up here and uh, replace the label of course I always like to have my machines labeled uh, that way you know exactly what's in uh, the machine what you're paying for what you're getting everything like that uh, then after this we have one more stop that ended up being a dollar fifty in it for two weeks uh, but they seem to want some candy, so I told them I'd go ahead and put a machine with peanut M&Ms in there next month. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Hopefully they do better than the gumballs. And then after I do that, I have to swing by Sam's Club real quick. And I'll show you all a clip in that in just a second as soon as I get this all set up. Uh, of course, you always want to be testing your machine. Make sure it works when you service it. Make sure it's all good and functional. Alright, so this is uh, another one of the locations I, I have. This is one of the first locations I got. Uh, the first month I had it, it was like 8 bucks and some change. And then the next couple months, it was only a couple bucks, like $2 or so. This month, there was only a dollar and 75 cents over the course of an entire month. So this one's probably going to get pulled next month when I head up and do my route. Uh, really no point in keeping one that's going to be this slow. Uh, I can definitely find a better location that's going to do a lot better than that. I mean, this one has the seedlings. Um, honestly, I'm kind of surprised that this location didn't do a little bit better, but sometimes the locations just will really surprise you, and you will really be surprised at the ones that do really well and really be shocked on some of the ones that do really bad. So hopefully I can find a better location for this one. I uh, don't have one right this moment, but I should... Uh, be able to find one in the very near future, something that does a little bit better than a dollar seventy five in a month. All right, so we just got done the collection. Uh, we actually ran into quite a few problems uh, on the way. I'll tell you all about that in a minute. Uh, but this is what we ended up getting from all the machines. Uh, collected nine of them. Now the majority of them were only there for about two weeks uh, because I switched the one out at the sub shop for a double head uh, and there ended up being like almost 10 bucks in it uh, for just the two weeks there and then there was one place that was only there for a week and there was two more places or three more places that were there for only about two weeks but anyway guys this is what we got from all nine machines total uh, 
overall, um, not too bad considering the majority of the collection was from machines that hadn't been sitting there that long. Alright, so now I am going to go ahead and count it all up to see how much I made total. I actually did keep track of it on the way, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in rows of a dollar. Actually, as you can see, I do actually have a uh, washcloth down. Uh, it's cool little tip is it makes it a lot easier to deal with the quarters, pick them up and everything, rather than just uh, doing so on the table. <clears throat> uh, just something neat little trick to make it a little more time effective until you buy a change counter or whatever. But anyway guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get this all counted up and I'll be right back. All right, so in the process of counting everything up, overall I had a few locations that did really, really well and a few locations that did very poorly. So I unfortunately only got to get footage of two of the locations that I collected but uh, that was just because I was trying to be a little bit more time effective and I figured I can give you kind of a recap while I was uh, counting out all the change and everything so the first location it was a dollar 25 it was there for a week the second one there was 1150 it was there for a uh, a month the next one was a dollar 50 they were only there for a uh, two weeks, but they're going to get peanut M&Ms next cycle. Uh, next one was there for two months and was $8.25. Uh, next one was there for a month and was $1.75. Uh, next one is was there for two weeks and had $9.50. Uh, next one up is $3.50 for two weeks. Uh, and then my last stop was 12 bucks. And then the one before my last stop was my best location, actually. And it had only been there for two weeks. And I collected $22.50 in just two weeks. So as you can see, some a few locations make up the majority of it. And that's just kind of the nature of it. You have some that do very, very well. And then you also are going to have some that do very poorly. All right. So there you have it, guys. That is the collection. Uh, these are rows of 10 here, and then this is 8, and then this is uh, 4 Bicentennial Quarters that I found. Um, pretty sure you can sell those on eBay for a little bit more than, uh, I think you can sell like 5 for a couple bucks. So you can definitely make a little bit of uh, extra profit by finding few bicentennial quarters or if you're lucky enough to eventually find like a silver quarter uh, I haven't done that yet but a silver quarter is worth a few bucks so you know just something else to look out for when you're doing it but it was $69 including $1 in bicentennial quarters uh, and then I have a little bit left over uh, some of this was from this month as well uh, and then the rest of this was left over I think uh, eight bucks was from this month as well uh, so I'm going to go ahead and roll this all up and then take it to the bank and uh, buy another machine because I actually managed to find a, another location on the way, uh, a smoke shop or a, I guess a, a head shop or whatever you call uh, those kind of places. Um, I stopped in there because I figured that would probably be a good place for candy. So talked to the guy and he said I could go ahead and put one in. So I'm going to go ahead and order another machine. I'll probably order a double head, one for gumballs, and then he said he wanted Skittles. So I'm going to go ahead and give him the Skittles as well. And uh, we'll see how that location does. All right, so that is going to just about wrap up this video today. Now, I did mention that I had a lot of issues on the route, and that actually wasn't anything candy or location related. That actually had to do with my car. My car and car battery died as well as the alternator. So I already got a new battery. Now I just have to get the alternator replaced. So, you know, kind of a pain in the butt to happen in the middle of the route, but we're working on getting it taken care of. So we are all good to go just about with that. But if you like this kind of video, uh, me doing the collections, they seem to be pretty popular. Just make sure you hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. And then make, leave a comment down below on how many locations you all are currently up to. Uh, personally, I'm up to nine and I have another yes. So I will be at 10 locations as soon as I get the next machine in the mail. 
and I'll give you all a little bit of footage of me dropping it off and everything like that. Anyway, guys, I will catch you all in the next one.